uh, let's talk about change. So this is all, you know, there's all kind of transformation going around um, in companies trying to go agile, trying to implement Scrum, trying to implement Scrum Bon, uh, and all of this actually requires change. And we all have certain capacity for change. Some people have more capacity, some people have less. What do you have to uh, share about, um, you know, resisting the change or change in general, which is uh, at the core of agility? So, so I'll tell you, um, and I feel like this is, this is probably a really good, a really good thing to, um, for everybody. Like if, if I wanted to have one thing that everybody, that I wanted to tell everybody to keep in mind is that change is really hard. Um, there's a great quote um, from a fantastic book um, uh, by DeMarco and Lister called Peopleware. Um, mm. It's actually, it is a quote in one of the beginning of the chapters. Um, um, people hate change. They really, really hate change. They really hate it. Yeah. And here's the thing. Um, that's rational. When we're trying to make changes, it's really, it's really tempting for us to say, well, those people are trying to resist the change I'm putting in place. They're right. being irrational. They're, uh, by the change I'm making is totally logical and the right thing to do. Why are they irrationally resisting my change? Mm. Um, the, uh, the thing is, from their perspective, they've probably seen a dozen, two dozen change, change initiatives and transformations like this that came and went, and they should have just ignored them because it just made their hard li lives hard and then went away. Yeah. Now, think of it from their perspective. Right. Yesterday... I, if I'm the person asking to make a change, be made, ask, being asked to make a change, yesterday I knew that I could do my job. I knew that, you know, I probably at the end of the week I'd have gotten what I need to get done. At the end of the month I have looked good. At the end of the quarter I might have a good review. At the end of the year I probably get a decent. You have the raise I expect. But now, tomorrow, now you made me make this change. Yeah. I don't know if it's going to work. I no longer know if I am actually going to be able to do my job. Right. You've just threatened that whole thing. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get, get that raise. I don't know if I'm going to get fired because this change actually screws my whole job up. Mm -hmm. you, when we, when something messes with our ability to bring food home to our families, that um, it kind of messes with that caveman portion of the brain yeah. that says, you know, that hunter gatherer part of our brain right. and we resist it. And I have to say, it's not necessarily irrational to resist. From that perspective, it, it's actually rational to resist that change. Right. So my, advice to anybody who is trying to make change is empathy. Try to understand it from the, people, from the people's perspective, the people whose lives you're affecting. Try to understand it from their jobs, from their ability to do their work and to bring food home to their family. And recognize that you need to understand things from their perspective, you need to talk to them, get, not just get them on board because you gotta get people on board because that's what all of our change management books say. You gotta get them on board because they're gonna tell you where you're screwing up. And they're going to tell you how they, what they need to see in order to be on board with it. Because other, what they need to know to be able to feel comfortable that they can still do their jobs. Mm. But that's how you make change work. And that, that applies not just to agile transformation or even digital transformation, any right. kind of organizational transformation. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. We will sure to come back with more exciting videos on agile topics.